I finally upgraded my system to RTX 3070 Ti so I've been busy setting that up recently. It's a huge leap from my original 750 Ti, and after just a week of playing with it I'm not sure how I managed to work with my old machine for so long. I wanted to upload an easy beginner geometry node tutorial for some time now so here we go. The reason geometry node is so fantastic is that once you set up a node tree you can easily reuse it and come up with different results. It might seem hard at first with all those lines but in truth it's just plugging in nodes instead of clicking on a button or an option. Make sure you have Node Wrangler add-in installed and let's start. Let's add a cube first. I'm gonna bring it up to the floor. We'll then go into Geometry Nodes workspace. Click New and you'll see Group Input and Output Nodes. Let's try adding a bevel modifier. What happened? The nodes disappeared, right? Not to worry. You just have to click on the node modifier from the stack. If you don't want this happening and have just one geometry node, click on this pin button to see your nodes all the time. Press Shift A to add instance on points. You can search for it or look under instances. The cube disappeared. Again, don't worry. Shift A again to add an icosphere under mesh primitives and plug it into instance. Let's increase subdivisions to 4 and add a set shade smooth node. See what we're doing? Instead of right clicking an object to select shade smooth, we're bringing in a shade smooth node and plugging it to our instances. Decrease radius to make icospheres smaller. If we want our original cube back, we need to add a join geometry node before output. Just plug in another geometry line to this. Next, let's add a wire line to this cube. Search for a mesh to curve node first. We want this line to have thickness, so let's add a curve to mesh node next. Finally, add a curve circle to use as profile. Decrease radius to what you want. Just like before, let's connect another line to the join geometry node to see our cube again. So basically we have a line for the wire, for the icosphere, and for the original cube. I'm gonna add a set material node for each of these lines so that I can select a different material for each. Shift D to duplicate the node. Let's unpin cause we're gonna copy the node group later on. Click New to add a material and change the shader type to Emission. Choose any color you want. I'm going to repeat the process to create two more base colors and one for wire and one for icospheres.
I've increased the ICO material emission strength to 20. I have an HDRI file for the environment so I'll remove that now since I don't need it for this project and change the color to black to see the emission shader effect better. I'm using EV Render Engine and have ambient occlusion, bloom, screen space reflections and motion all checked. All I have to do now is choose the appropriate material for each of these set material nodes. See how easy that was? Now comes the fun part. Let's duplicate the cube and copy the geometry node. We now have another geometry node group we can tweak. Delete the group input node and add an icosphere. Now plug into the same three places and we instantly have a different object with similar attributes. Isn't it great? You can easily change the size and choose different materials as well. Shall we do it one more time? What happened? I didn't click on the copy button. Let's undo and copy the node group first and add a cylinder with 12 vertices this time. Remember this is just a beginner geometry node tutorial. The possibilities of geometry nodes are endless and you can create really cool and complex stuff with them so I encourage you to explore and try many different things. I'll try to upload more interesting tutorials about them down the road so please subscribe and visit my channel often. Thanks for watching and have a great day guys.